Yo, what's going on, my guy, f fam? Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the last episode, uh, we went and got this little Cooper Pooper Scooper Duper Nooper, uh, yes. Super Pooper <laughs> Scooper. Yes. Um, we got his shell back. Ooh, right, so I gotta tell you guys this real quick, it's pretty important. Um... I kind of messed up our la we did two more recordings, but we ca I, I, it was my fault. I kind of messed them up. I, I don't know how, but I did. So uh, we decided to get a new uh, new update for the software, and it it seems to be working much better. Let's hope so. Anyway. Yeah, let let's hope so for <coughs> sure. So uh, this is something I forgot to do. Oh, would you look at that? It's it's a hat kid. <laughs> Cowiz. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say it's a hat in time, but I don't want to like. I don't want our video to get copyrighted by that. That's not gonna get copyrighted. Yeah, they'd probably be like, "Oh, sweet, keep promoting us." <laughs> <clears throat> Question: <laughs> What is my favorite color? <laughs> Ooh, what's the name of the Goombario's younger sister? Um, Goombalina. Goombat. <laughs> Wait. Isn't isn't that the girl from Thousand Year Door? Did I this foreshadow? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat is just not working with me today. Yeah, so he shows up up to a hundred times total throughout the whole game. <laughs> Seriously? And if you and you get a star piece for all of them. So ooh, that's that's right. That's right. As soon as we get 10 star pieces, we gotta go back to Star Haven and get the Zap Tap badge. Do you have 10 pieces? No, I have 7. Oh. But once I get 10... <laughs> Where are you headed to? Uh, uh, strip Club Village? Sweet. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Those sneaky bastards. <laughs> I love hidden items. I just saw like a little a little black mark that was out of place. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh. 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 It's a trap! <laughs> yeah, you could try a knock and poop one of those. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> I can, but it'll it'll do one damage to him, and I I think it'd be better to just Jump on him so that I get rid of all of his uh, guard. His defense, there we go. Because, you know, his guard is definitely a stat. <laughs> so I'm supposed to jump on him, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. I was gonna smack the squad. No, no, no! <laughs> How many items are One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Bam, let's eat some leaves. Oh, I got this. Bam. <laughs> uh, I'm a pro. So I could either parachute him. Yeah, you know what? I got an idea. All dead. That's what I would have done. Yes. <gasps> Level up. <laughs> BP, my dude. <laughs> because... They can use more badges. Yes, close call and dizzy attack. Why not HP, though? I don't need to. If I want that, I'll just level up HP. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And remember that strategy I said before? What? That that whole like raise the uh, raise the BP and oh shoot, R raise the D DP the BP to the point where I can use a whole bunch of close calls and take with no damage. Oh yeah, doesn't exactly work in this one. I, as far as I remember, I, I thought I thought it did, but then I went back and did some more research on Thousand Year Door, and Thousand Year Door is the one that I come from. 
I don't think I don't think I can do that strategy yes because in thousand year door that's uh, that has like the built-in uh, close call right yep okay. uh no no it doesn't have a built-in one that'd be too overpowered well, there, you said but it still screams danger at you <laughs> well you're saying that there's one that uh you have the badge like pre equipped or something mm -mm. no uh in thousand year door enemies can drop badges and the, it has like an unlimited amount of these badges. So in Thousand Year Door, you can keep stacking that badge if you go back and get multiple of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. But in this one, uh, y enemies don't drop badges. So the only way you can get them is by uh, finding them in game or buying them from the badge shop. <laughs> so if you have a ton of them on, you're basically an unkillable god then? Yeah, basically. <laughs> However, like I said before, it's not going to work in this one. It's too bad it doesn't. Shoot. Yeah, it really is, though. It really does make me a little sad. I'll come back for the fire flower. You should have just eaten one of your leaves again. Unless you really don't use it. Plot twist. <laughs> um, I'd rather wait a little bit. If anything, I'll just go back to Goomba Village. Oh, this is an easy fix right here. Are you ready for this? Bam. I kind of wish I had kept Cooper out in the first place. <laughs> GG, easy. Penetration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's use your power stuff. I mean, if I can get two damage and he's only got two HP, like, yeah. might as well. Waste your points on it either. Ah! <laughs> you try to hit him. And then I block it. <laughs> like a ball. <laughs> All part of the strategy. Bam. First you do the slam and then you do the jam. Destroy. Oh no, I took one damage. <gasps> How can this be? Could this happen to me? <laughs> <clears throat> All part of the strat. <sighs> yeah, boom and boom. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Wouldn't it be nice if it worked like that in real life? Right, so those recordings <laughs> we talked about and this, the story that you told in them... Do you want to tell that story again? Oh. Your work story? Which one was that? Uh, the the one about the guy going, uh, oh the, yeah, 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 going into the bathroom. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this one will, it'll actually sound a little bit better this time because uh, I, I think I can remember it better. But uh, the, the gist of it, I, I can go into detail. But the the gist of it is that he had stolen from us and then went into the bathroom and he had to stay an hour after closing because the dude was shooting up in the bathrooms. <sighs> Don't you just love it? Well, I mean, I'm used to it at this point. <laughs> yeah. From where I work, third biggest Home Depot. Yeah. You get some real crazies around there. Yeah, that's for sure. That's not an understatement either. Uh, basically, what he had done is he came in through the front door and over to the right of that. I'll probably have like a map or something in this. Over he to the right of that is where all of our ink is at. And all the ones that are unsecured are over like 50 bucks, which. This was before we started to secure everything. Okay. But walks over, grabs the ink, you know, stuffs his bag up full of them. Yep. Goes into the bathroom and starts to shoot up. Doesn't realize what time it was. So we called it. By then we had called the cops because he was starting to leave. Or he was going to try to leave. Yeah. And uh, we called the cops on him. Thankfully we did because. Ah, oh, God. Dude, this made me super uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, I don't think anyone would be too comfortable around a junkie, especially someone like him. But uh, after my boss went out to go talk to uh, to the officer that actually put him in the back of his car, he started. I could hear him inside the store. He started yelling at her, calling her every name under the sun. That's a lot of names. <laughs> yeah, like almost any name, any. Uh, uh, vulgar, vulgar name that you could think of. I thought you were going to say Voldemort for a second. Yes. Oh, here. This is what happens when an enemy hits a bomb bomb. That... Mm. So, so, typically it'd be stunned for a turn, but because it was at the end of the battle, it didn't matter. 
Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it would basically just skip the partner's turn. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, good to know, thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, that was all part, part of the strat. You should have hit him with Cooper. Wouldn't that make him explode? No, uh, it'll do the same amount of damage. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we could test it. You never know. Uh, I'm sure it still did one damage. Oh no, two damage! <coughs> all two points. Oh, mamma mia! And, and oh, I got it! <laughs> I got it! Wow. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love this game. Oh, here we go. Boom, right? Here for this. Here we go. Bam! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have just used a hammer on it and I wouldn't have taken any damage, but that was a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little more fun jumping on the bombs. Exactly. <laughs> Especially when they're lit. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, God, it's so Bro, that's so lit. Oh, uh, what was that story about the dude that went into your guys' bathroom? Oh, right, that one. <laughs> yeah, the lady. <laughs> yeah, I tried to forget about that one. <laughs> I, I so, bring you. basically, I, uh, I ended up about mid shift. I was going to the bathroom one day, right? And, and then I hear this loud, Aah! I'm like, oh no, 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 no. And and then I see him walk out with this like really ter like really creepy grin on his face. That's kind of weird. And, and he like kind of pull, sw um, like pulls up his pants a little bit and he just, he points in there. He's like, you don't want to go in there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this guy. All over the front of the toilet. Number two. And I'm just like... Bleh. Now, now I... It amazes me that people like that exist. Uh, seriously. And I'm the kind of guy... I used to be a uh, custodian. <laughs> so I have a bad habit of cleaning up messes, no matter how gross they are. Uh. And... Either way, my my man, the manager's like, can I have you, can, can you like clean that up? I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, for like 10 minutes, I'm sitting in there scrubbing it out. You know, it's, sometimes you're just too nice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, forgot about that. See what I did there? You gotta love glitches. <laughs> it's not actually a glitch. See, the dude who jumped out of there, most people don't think to just try and do what he did, but, you know, then you can just skip that and grab the Power Bounce badge and swiggity swooty, get the Power Badge booty. <laughs> now this one's a great attack. It lets you keep on jumping on your opponent. Nice. Let's use some, uh, Goom Nut. I think I'm gonna eat the nut. <clears throat> Wait, so if you use the Power Bounce badge, that's... Does that mean you could do more than one bounce? Yep. Nice. I'll uh, show it to you when we get to the final boss. Okay. Or you could just use it now if you want. Eh, uh, it's a bit of a waste of FP. Yeah. Takes up the whole three. I know, right? That's, I, I want to say that's so much because it kind of is in this. Like, with how early in the game we are. But at the same time, it still shouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's give this a test. And then with the Cooper Pooper Shooper. And then bam. Ah, I don't take any damage. Sweet. Nice. We're already halfway to the next level. FP's getting raised. <laughs> oh, should we do FP or BP again? Uh, oh, oh I, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, I do FP this time. You wanna see something real cool? Wait, isn't that gonna set mm -hmm. up all the bombs though? It insta kills them. <laughs> nice. Gotta love the fire flower. Oh yeah, re remember your uh, challenge for Matt Pat? The Mario the Gardener. Oh yeah. Uh, that. <laughs> so Matt Pat, you said that he that he had like a hundred different uh hundred different like jobs, right? Mario, I mean. 
Uh, one, one, one that you didn't mention is gardening. He's a pro gardener, as shown here in Paper Mario, where he plants a fire flower. <laughs> Obviously, he has a history in uh, planting. You know, he probably does. I mean, he eats a lot of mushrooms. You gotta come from somewhere, right? <laughs> and that's a goal. <laughs> All right, now let's hope that this time around I get that POW block like in the last recording, because that was cool. I, I think there was something uh, wrong with that goon nut. Because now the doors are moving on their own. Oh no! <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> Alright, what? How can you have a Goombario? Because he jumps on their heads and he can flip them onto their shells. But couldn't Cooper do that too? And he, no, he does damage. He does. He can do up to two damage, but he doesn't flip them onto their shells. Oh. You have to use some sort of jumping attack to get them to hit. to flip onto their backsides. Because you know, when you're playing Paper Mario, you gotta get those Koopas on the backsides, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Alright. Almost seven. Oh, we're almost sixteen and a half uh, minutes. Oh, wow. That was fast. I know, right? So. <laughs> oh, we're, uh, we're uh, going to cut it off here. Uh, we'll uh, see you all in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Yahoo!